Right, so this is a short video on what's called surfaces of revolution. It's a very procedural, very simple idea, but what it gives us is something quite powerful. So let's say that S is a surface that is obtained by um, rotating some uh, uh, function y equals f of x. Now, if you take this function y f, uh, f of x and then rotate it where, where f of x is limited to be where x range is between a and b, so it's some finite uh, piece, and if we rotate this, uh, this function about the x-axis, okay, uh, assuming, of course, that fx is greater than or equal to zero, as in, in other words, a positive function, then if theta is the angle of rotation and x, y, z is some point on the surface, then this parametrization, x, uh, x equals fx, of cos, uh, of fx times cosine theta and z equals fx times sine theta, where this fx is the function that's being rotated about the x-axis, then there is your vector function. There's your parametrization. So in other words, you're looking at the vector function, which is um, going to be x, uh, x theta are your parameters. And so you'll have x, uh, fx uh, cosine theta, and fx sine theta. Now that, well, that is a surface that's generated by rotating this uh, uh, curve y equals fx about the x-axis. Okay, so this is uh, this can basically uh, generate some, some pretty very nice little way to actually generate some uh, look at some interesting surfaces represented by again uh, the two parameter idea. A quick example: find the parametric equations for the surface uh, generated by rotating y equals sine uh, x x between zero and two pi about the x-axis. So let me quickly show you what uh, what actually goes on here. So what we're really talking about is um, uh, we're talking about this uh, sine x between 0 and 2 pi. So essentially you're looking at this kind of a situation and you are going to rotate this about the x-axis. So as you rotate this about the x-axis, what you'll start, what you'll get is a uh, is something like this only three-dimensional. So it'll be uh, like two pills together or so. Okay, maybe. Yeah. So, um, uh, yeah, this will be, what I mean is, so this will be like here. So it's rotating. So this is the kind of thing you will get. So if we want to calculate the surface area or, or the surface, the, what surface is represented by this? So that's basically what this, for, and this method that we just looked at earlier helps us to do. So the parametrization would be since it's rotation about the x-axis, x would be x and y would of course be sine x, the fx function times uh, cosine theta and z would be also sine x times sine theta, okay? Now, in the important thing, first, x is already defined for you in the question, which is x uh, is 0 to 2 pi, and theta is, uh, unless specified, it's usually a full rotation means that theta is between 0 and 2 pi, of course, okay, because we're talking a full rotation. So, uh, using this, um, your parametrization turns out to be x and theta parameters, so it's x, sine x, cosine theta, and sine x, sine theta. So that's it. That basically is the surface uh, represented by this vector function, which in fact is, then can be used for doing other calculations uh, with it. All right.